again um, it's been a little bit since I last talked to you guys um, I kind of went on my own little Wizard of Oz journey over the past month and uh, it's been great I hit a pretty low point in my life uh, at the beginning of this year I had a lot going on um, for some reason I thought I was Bath and Body Works and I could produce like 30 candles a night while I was going through postpartum depression a little bit with uh, just my hormones being off. I was sleeping like two hours a night trying to, you know, make candles at like 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Um, because that was the only time of the, the day my children would sleep. So um, multiple nights of that added up just to, you know, I was trying to hustle and make money and uh, stack bread, you know, and that was my focus. And I realized now as an entrepreneur, um, that's kind of where I went wrong is I was trying to make the most money I could. Uh, meanwhile, I was getting inspiration from, you know, the journey I was going through as a mom, as a woman. Um, I was evolving my business into LLC. Uh, so I had a lot going on at that time. And yeah, I kind of just took a step back and I was like, what am I doing? Because I wasn't happy. I started getting irritated with everything I was doing. And I never want to get irritated with my work. That's something I vowed I would never do as an entrepreneur. So. I decided to take a step back and you know really figure out what my mission was and really started manifesting you know planning out what I wanted to do with Urban Land and what I wanted to do with my brand exactly and ended up filling up almost an entire sketchbook of ideas and I learned more in the last two months than I did I think my entire life through Clubhouse and I started listening to Gary Vee every single morning right when I woke up because you know I love his I don't give a fuck attitude and it really brought it out in me listening to every day and I kind of just started you know realizing everything's in my control and I was getting irritated with everyone and everything and I realized you know what I'm in control of my life so I started stepping up I started changing my routine waking up early eating healthy focusing on my vision uh, spending time with my kids I didn't want to ir like feel irritated towards my kids because I was trying to get work done now I'm just kind of you know floating with the day grateful for the opportunity to see another day and that's kind of my um, mindset shift that I adapted and I'm gonna stick with it because like I said it's been working for me very well I've been more inspired than ever and I started focusing on my mission over the money and I know a lot of people think I'm kind of going crazy I went through my own little spirituality journey <laughs> which I've learned in Omaha if you wear crystals around your neck they kind of look at you like a Harry Potter but no worries, I'm not casting any evil spells. I just got aligned with my spirituality and I'm actually working on an alignment project that I'm gonna launch for you guys next week. That's a uh, bath and candle meditation. Uh, so you kind of can get what I'm getting at with meditation and spirituality and why I'm walking around with crystals around my neck. It'll make a little bit more sense next week. Um, she's just jumping. Dang girl, you can't stand yet. Alea's like my little sidekick. She literally rolls with me everywhere. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more drop-offs and stuff, so you're going to see Alea. Honestly, she tags with me 24-7. So get used to her cute little face. Um, I'm loving her more and more each day. And she's actually, why she's going to be in my videos, because she is the muse in, um, I called, I, I think I posted a couple months ago saying that Zayden's my vision. He really taught me discipline, you know, being a young mom and working, and I finished college when he was five months old and stuff. He taught me discipline. Alea kind of inspired my creation and my art and to push me to start my own business, do something I had always dreamed of doing. And once I actually went for it and um, took my mind off the money and kind of realized that it was in my control and how I got to the low point in my life, ironically enough, that's kind of when I found my light and my vision at the same time. And couldn't be more grateful because I just, I transitioned and 
Uh, I'm still transitioning my entire life and I have a lot going on, I'm sure. Um, some of you could probably tell that from my story, but more than anything, I'm just sharing my journey. I realized I don't know a lot about my past and I want to take the time to figure it out and I'm going to take you guys with me because if I'm going to start a personal brand, I think it's kind of important for everyone to kind of know who I am and I kind of forgot who I was. Like I shared, I forgot I even made bows and sold them in high school and I like kind of suppressed my own potential and when I realized that and focused on my mission more, like I said, things started just falling into line and now I'm ready to share my first project with you guys. So um i've been working on an over the rainbow project which is going to be uh it's just kind of like a little fun side project honestly i started at the beginning of this month i collabed with uh christina schneider who's one of my best friends in high school um she just got her ma master's in architect sure and uh, she's an amazing designer she does her own labeling things like that for creatives in town so uh it's at ula.studio uh o o l a dot studio uh, on Instagram if you guys want to hit her up. She works with me to design my boxes. I've already had a couple people ask me where I design them. We just work together and put our visions and our creative minds together and that's uh, what I figured out my mission was. So with Urban Land my mission is going to be connecting candles to causes through collaborations. That's what I want to focus on and um, I'm going to do that through projects and I'm going to be switching it up. Like I said I have an alignment project next week. I'm doing a birthday project next week. Uh, that's going to be available for birthday presents with a CBD bath bomb, a cake batter, sprinkle candle, and a scrunchie and a little notepad to kind of do what I've been trying to do and manifest, you know, things that I always talk about. I was one of those people that I talked about a lot of ideas I had, but I never put... Oh, it's okay. We almost done. Hi. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, see? Mom life. And I usually would like... Uh, record things like eight times now I'm like you know what we're doing it in one and you're gonna see my real life in action so um but yeah uh somewhere over the rainbow let's show you guys real quick what we've been working on so these are flip my camera these are gonna be the summer over the rainbow projects um so this little QR code you scan it with um your camera just hold it over to launch my website I have 17 boxes of these left. I had 20 total. And what I'm going to do with these is donate 100% of the profits. I know if you think I'm crazy, you're probably going to think I'm really crazy now. But 100% of the profits are going to um, the Lydia House in Omaha. And probably this weekend is going to be my goal. I'm going to take home uh, or take them down the check. And um, I've also been doing some... Uh, spray cleaning the past couple days because we're actually moving out of our house next week which is exciting we're taking it to the next level um you know let me put this back down you know what real life see i decided i'm gonna live my truth so here you guys go here's my life um but yeah so this is the last video in here like i said we're, i'm gonna take about I have 10 trash bags full of women's clothes and baby clothes from Zayden and Alea, a bunch of baby equipment that I'm gonna drop off at the Lydia house. Um, I had 20 boxes, I have 17 left. How it's gonna work, comment 999 under this. The first 17 people that I see, congratulations, you're gonna get the sample box with the Fruity Pebbles. Um, and I did that because it's National Cereal Day. I think today, the 17th, uh, let me see. Yeah, the 17th. Um, the green one is going to be the Lucky Charm, and that's the eucalyptus spearmint, which was a stress relief. It's green. Um, that one has a pyrite crystal. Oh, by the way, the Fruit Loop one has a rose quartz crystal. Um, they all bring good fortune and good luck. The three crystals, I put one um, in each of the different candles for the Summer Over the Rainbow project. Um, but yeah, rose quartz with the Fruit Loop. Uh, I did the pyrite crystal, which is good fortune. Um, and the eucalyptus spearmint and then the oatmeal milk and honey is the pot of gold candle and that one has a citrine which is good fortune and it's also one of the ones that I've been carrying around my neck that everyone thinks is crazy <laughs> but no they just bring good luck that's it like I said I started focusing on my mission over money got in touch with my spirituality at the same time started learning about crystals and thought it was kind of cool and bring good luck for St. Patrick's Day you know how appropriate um, so yeah, that's the project. Um, 17 left, comment 999 under my video. 
the first 17 people are going to get this. Uh, like I said, I'm donating 100% of the profits to the Lydia House in Omaha. I'm going to take you guys with me on video to drop off a $400 check, hopefully this weekend, and a bunch of clothes. Um, if anybody's interested in getting involved with me, let me know. If anybody is doing spring cleaning and is cleaning out their closets and has clothes they want to take down there with me, I would be more than happy to go down with a group of you guys. So, all right. Leia's signaling that we're done. So, let me know. Thank you guys so much for your support. This is just the beginning of our next chapter. And that's our cue to go. Thank you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>